guys. Kitty care time. Before you start, tune to ten twenty AM. Before you start, tune to ten twenty AM. Tune in to ten twenty AM.
coming off on the search and wants those documents back. CBS's Christina Ruffini. On his social media platform, Truth Social, Trump alleged agents knowingly confiscated privileged attorney-client material, writing, I respectfully request that these documents be immediately returned. CBS News reached out to the FBI to ask about President Trump's claims that some of the documents they took were protected by attorney-client privilege. The FBI declined to comment. Author Salman Rushdie is on the road to recovery after getting stabbed in New York. Governor Kathy Hochul was at the Chappaqua Institute where he was attacked. Mr. Rushdie spent more than a decade of his life in hiding. And finally he said, no more. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of the shadows. I will not be followed by fear or a threat. And to those of us who go about our daily lives, if that's not an inspiration, I don't know what is. Iranian state media has bragged about the attack, but Secretary of State Antony Blinken condemned it today, warning Iran the U.S. will not tolerate these threats. Europe's largest power plant is now at the center of recent attacks in Ukraine. Here's CBS's Charlie Jagada. Just across the Dnipro River, not more than a few miles away, lies the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Residents here on the opposite bank tell us they come under intense nightly bombardment launched from the Russian-held facility, accusing Putin's troops of using it as a shield. But last night, President Volodymyr Zelensky warned every Russian soldier who shoots at the plant or uses the plant for cover will become a special target. Police say a man who was upset about an argument with his mom plowed into a crowd at a fundraiser for victims of a recent house fire. Anthony Petrovsky is with state police. At this time, there is one confirmed fatality from the Burwa crash, the one with 17 people injured. Police say that he then went home and beat his mother to death with a hammer. R. Kelly will be back in federal court tomorrow in Chicago, where he faces child porn charges. The singer was acquitted of similar charges back in 2008, but this time prosecutors say several more women have come forward and plan to testify against him. This is CBS News. Leaving a child in a hot vehicle can lead to their death very quickly. Set cell phone reminders so you don't forget your child in the car. Look for your baby before you lock. Brought to you by NHTSA. You've got thugs. What's your move? A rattly can? Or a simple frisk? Buzz near your kids and pets? Will it be ingredients you can't pronounce? <sighs> Ew. Or essential oils? <sighs> Bother the bugs, not your family. Zevo uses essential oils, which attacks bugs' biological systems. So Zevo kills bugs, plus it's safe for use around people and pets when used as directed. Zevo, people friendly. Bug deadly. Now at a store near you. Chances are you're jamming in your car right now. And since Liberty Mutual customizes car insurance, they only pay for what you need. Bimu and I are going to show you some safe car dance moves. Hit it. Everybody, take a blind spot real quick. Now hands on the wheel. Put them 10 in two and move your head like a bird do. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. A new report suggests more women than men are going hungry around the world. Here's reporter Scott Neiman. The figures are astonishing. A report by K International has found 150 million more women than men did not have reliable access to food last year. Many of the insecure industries um, which are female dominated have been the ones that have suffered or lost jobs during the pandemic. Chair spokesman Peter Walton he says the cost of living has skyrocketed, not just because of the pandemic, but also because of climate change and the Russia-Ukraine war. But we absolutely have to address this. Scott Mayman for CBS News, Canberra, Australia. At least one person is dead and dozens more were injured when part of a stage collapsed at an outdoor music festival in Spain. Emergency officials there say strong winds knocked it down, landing about 40 people in the hospital. Several have serious injuries. Organizers had to clear the concert grounds and cancel the rest of the event. Monica Ricks, CBS News. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. Station is testing its emergency alert system equipment. The EAS will provide timely emergency warnings. This station serves the Pittsburgh Extended Operational Area. This concludes this emergency alert system test.
When you need to talk, we're here for you. Always have been. News Radio KDKA. Join Mark Patrick seminars and lose the weight guaranteed only $49.99. Hypnosis designed to destroy unwanted cravings, weight bait eating binges, boredom eating, stress eating. Also, stop smoking with Mark Patrick. No matter how many times you try to quit, this hypnosis is designed to destroy. <laughs> The Holiday Inn Express and Sleeps Airport in Pittsburgh and Sunday, August 4th. Before you... Tune to 93.3 HD3. Tuning to 93.3 FM HD3. that your car tires have met. The FBI after the Recovery effort from the most. So, yeah, be... Ashland Ironton. Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. 